All right, everybody. Um, I'm working over here, I think. Not sure on this uh, screen recording, but I was just meeting some students on getting this cell structure, plant versus animal activity uh, done and learning about the organelles and what they do. And so just a couple of tips. If you can split your screen, that's going to make this so much easier. So you can see on mine, I've got my worksheet here and then my gizmo over here. So I can just click in between them and we like, oh, those are the ribosomes. Boom. And then click in there uh, and add your ribosomes. You're going to do this again. Oh, yeah. Later on down there with uh, the plant cell. But uh, we also worked through here. We It was nice to have some people who were at different paces because some people had done them all and we were able to check and say, oh, yeah, I think it's C. And then we'd check and be like, yep, definitely. C was uh, the, for the nuclear membrane. So then we switched to nuclear membrane, read it. This double-layered membrane surrounds and protects the nucleus of the cell. Pores in the membrane allow molecules to move in and out of the nucleus. So then we compared that with C membrane that protects the nucleus yeah okay so those two match up so then we put c the other great tip that came from a student was to highlight these after you're done with them so these are all highlight highlight highlighted already because we've used them all but we we're using the highlighter tool to make sure that um, we knew which ones we had done and which ones were left so now you're going to switch over to the plant cell. I haven't done this one yet. Um, and then label these. Here's a great tip. If you look at the animal cell that you just did, you can get a lot of these already. Like, boom, there's the nucleolus. So I know this is a little weird that it's in a drawing format. But uh, hopefully after a few, you figured it out. Nucleolus. I gotta check my spelling. I never spelled that right. Nucleolus. Yep. Okay, I spelled it right that time. And then hiding behind me right now is the save and close button. And sometimes it jumps around. I'm probably not gonna use this format again. Um, something I learned. It's just a little bit goofy but then yeah so so many of these you've already got and then you can just look for the ones that you don't have yet that will actually help you with some of these questions too at the end list two structures that are present in animal cells but not in a plant cell oops those are the answers everybody <laughs> now you've got them but you get those from comparing the two so you can once your diagrams are labeled you can just look at the diagram and then look at the diagram, and then you can find the ones that are there on the animal, but not the plant. And then same thing, the plant, but not the animal. Then for these, you're going to have to find, once again, what these different things do. Name the organelle, organelles that do the following. Convert sunlight to chemical energy. Well, I need to look around here. I know that that is the chloroplast. This organelle converts the radiant energy of the sun into chemical energy through the process of photosynthesis. So I'm going to double click in here and type chloroplast. All of the information you need is inside of the gizmo. Really the most challenging part about this is that we are doing it on the computer. Instead, if this was a worksheet and you could just fill it out with your, paper, your pencil, it would be so much easier. But we're in distance learning. I tried out a new format. And thanks for what you did in trying to make it work. I learned a lot from the feedback you gave me. And I learned a lot from um, just using this format. Hopefully, I'll be able to make some better formats for you later. A little easier to use. But I don't count it as a loss. I count it as a learning. Thanks, everybody. Hopefully this helped you get a little bit further along. If I don't see you in class, if I don't see you in person, I'll see you on the internet.